<clears throat> but but it was a fun time. It was a great time. And in my first book, uh, I talked about being a young man in the wrestling business. Mm-hmm. What a great thing it was. Uh, because when you... Oh, what, let me tell you this. One of the chapters in my new book, I'm going to try to get it in there. Where did the girls go? Yeah. When I broke in this business, when we would leave the dressing room and go out to the car, or how we was traveling, mm-hmm. the parking lot was full of 75% women. Huh. Now you walk out there, if there's anybody out there at all, it's all guys. Mm-hmm. So where did the girls go? Read the book and I'll kind of give you the answer. I mm-hmm. think I know what you get that. And we're looking, looking forward to checking out this book, Tales from a Dirt Road. And I want to thank uh, my guest. You're, you're hey, busy do you like my, do you like my cover? Yeah, I like that. I, I, I checked it out uh, this morning. Nice stuff. <laughs> nice stuff. Well, I designed that. Well, kudos to you, my friend. Well, thank you very much. I, hey. was a, I think it's a nice-looking cover. Oh, perfect. Perfect cover for a well, I haven't read it, but I can tell this is going to be a great book. I'm looking forward to it. Tales from the Dirt Road coming uh, just in time for Christmas. I want to thank our author, Dirty Dutch Mantel. He's got to get back to doing things. He, he, he has other things to do besides talking to us here at the Tuesday Night Experiment. Well, I would like, seriously, I would like to, uh, I, I like to sit and talk on that to you. But I got, I'm at, like I, I told you before, uh, maybe before we went in the air. Mm-hmm. I'm here at my school right now, and uh, I'm outside, so I got to get in there and get these guys hard to work. All right, you get on and do that, my friend. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your schedule. We truly appreciate it up here. So, is it cold there now? It's one degree above zero, and that's not counting the wind chill, you my gotta friend. Be, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> you got to – I almost said another word. you got to be kidding me. One degree? Yeah, we're all this to I, I, Listen, I don't get it. We don't get it. I either. used to watch that Northern Exposure. Where was that at? That was up in uh, it was at the Alaska, the Sicily, Alaska. Oh, that was the end. Oh, my God. One degree. Yeah, and that's see, here. Right, see here, we're in Tennessee, mm-hmm. and it's cold here for us now. It's like forty-five. Oh, you kidding? Oh you man. Cold. Oh yeah, and Get I'm out of here. <laughs> so, <laughs> see, last year this time I was in laying on the beach in Puerto Rico. Well, that's even better, boy. That makes us feel a little bit warmer. Yeah, inside we step outside. That inside goes outside pretty fast. <laughs> well, listen, my friend, and to all my all the wrestling fans up there in Minnesota. Y'all have a warm night. Check out my book. I think you'll enjoy it, and it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Feelings mutual. Take it easy, my friend. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's Dutch Mantel, the dirty one. Great rack on tour. Check out his book coming out in the month of December called Tales from a Dirt Road. I'm pre-ordering it here uh, during the, the, the long weekend. I, I like I get, Oh, people down south, you know, we tell them it's like what above up here, <laughs> and they think we're just total crazy, oh, yeah. you know? <laughs> Just uh, because, you know, we they, can handle it, man. They don't understand our weather like we don't. Well, we would understand their weather, but they just don't understand our weather. Really. Well, uh, we're you so know, nuts, you know, rednecks here. down there. <laughs> oh, they're good guys, and Dutch is a very cool, cool cat. Taking time out from his – he's got a wrestling school, the University of Dutch. He's going to educate people and teach uh, – that's one thing missing. I mean, back in the day, you could have a match on television that would go for 40 minutes. Oh, yeah. And it uh-huh. wouldn't seem like it was dragging. And there'd be no yeah. interference. Half the, time. the psychology is what's really, truly, I think, missing in today's day and age. And I think that really does have an impact on, on ratings and stuff. It's not quite, like you said, there was a 20 share sitting here in Memphis television yep. at that time. I mean, that could wipe out three, four times uh, what Raw had. Yeah. You know, it, and, and definitely, I, I, I watch it. I've been a fan since I was a kid. I have to admit it. Yeah. I, I enjoy it. But, yeah, like I said, it's kind of become a lost art some of that old school stuff and it's kind of cool that there's people still around that are able to spread the the history around a little bit and put out great books and books about just stories it doesn't start when i was five years old when i first got my bicycle (laughs) no no people that's not what we want Dutch dutch cuts the crap and gets right to the heart of the matter and that's why we love dutch mantel how about we play, uh, take some, uh, do some words, and then play a song, and then get back to, to talking about stuff. We have an important thing to talk about, and then we'll play some more music, and then we'll have DDP in the next half hour. Cool. Let's do it. This is the Tuesday Night Experiment on Pioneer 90.1 FM, Radio Northland.org. Check out Dirty Dutch Mantel's new book. It's called Tales from a Dirt Road. 211 Northwest, your one call for help. A free, non-emergency community helpline which provides professional information specialists who will answer questions ranging from health care concerns to child care, elder care, disaster relief, 
volunteering, and more. 211, many answers, one call. 211 Northwest, a program of Tri-Valley Opportunity Council and sponsored in part by United Way. Hi, I'm Jan. And I'm Jim. And we are the hosts for the Pioneer 90.1 FM Root Cellar Program on Northland College Radio. I present what is happening in Minnesota, the history, current topics, and other relative information about our state. In other words, what are our roots? I give more local information from Thief River Falls and the surrounding area. We can be heard at 6.30 p.m. in the evening on Mondays on the Kathy Erickson Show, 7.30 a.m. on Wednesday morning with Ben, and 8 a.m. on Sunday morning with Mark. We hope you will join us. You can also hear our earlier programs by going to the Pioneer 90.1 FM website and click on Podcasts. Until then, bye bye for for now. Pioneer 90.1, KSRQ, Thief River Falls, Grand Forks. A service of Northland Community and Technical College. 90.1 FM Tuesday Night Experiment. Music from Queens of the Stone Age. Back to 2007's Era Vulgaris. Great record. For threes and sevens, it's 735. We're at one degree. We're going to go We're gonna go below. We're going to go below here. Uh, Before the night's over, right? Tuesday Night Experiment with Sugar Sean and uh, the Blind Dog. I'm your host, Glenn Broggett. Uh, we got some news. Uh, well, hopefully this half hour we'll be uh, hearing from... Diamond Dallas Page. He's going to talk about uh, YRG Fitness. Yes, we're going to get the word out about the YRG Fitness system from a former professional wrestler. This is going to be something that we may find interesting because looking at us, we need to lose some weight and get in shape. I'm sorry, we all. Yeah, and, you know, I, think, I think we do. I think and, the writing's and, on the and wall. And the one cool thing, like I mentioned last week, it just you know, it's been four years since the last time he did anything for the station, so. When he and I had a chance. What, do you act like he worked here part-time on the weekend? Well, I felt like, it. Hey, <laughs> hey, if he could be station manager at Moria, I would be so humble. <laughs> Good God. I still love you, Johnson, in case you're listening. To oh, my. Pan- <laughs> this is the second Panda alert this half hour Uh-oh. for Slauson. <laughs> for Sugar Sean Slauson. I told you it was going to be interesting, you know. What's it going uh, uh, to gonna fail? Speaking today? of interesting, you know, today is the day. Sean's been uh, marking it off each day that goes by for the last five, six years. Pop princess Miley Cyrus marks a big milestone in her life today. The pop star turns 18. Sean is jumping up, up for joy here. I'd rather listen to Billy Cyrus. Come on, Billy Ray Cyrus. Oh, man. I'd rather get an achy, listen, breaky heart. Listen to him deflect. <laughs> the daughter of country singer Billy Ray and his uh, now estranged wife Tish. It just you know that this is the the fruit of their loins. She's got her big birthday today, and Sean is acting all coy. But since finding fame as Hannah Montana in 2006, she's gained a loyal fan following, including Sugar Sean Slauson, oh, around the world, and is now a successful solo singer. Well, you know what? To hi- say happy birthday to Miley, we've compiled a few facts, fascinating facts about Miley. <laughs> all right. Do you guys know what her real name is? No. Sean. Look at Sean. He's just like. Come on, stalker like, boy. I thought it was like Kaylee or something like that. I thought it was Kaylee Cyrus. Uh, no. Probably not. Probably yeah. way off. Yeah, she was uh, born on uh, November 23rd, 1992. She was christened Destiny Hope Cyrus. Oh, okay, okay. Her childhood name nickname was Smiley, referencing her cheerful demeanor and ever-present <laughs> grin. It was later shortened to Miley. Oh, goodness. Destiny Hope. Destiny Hope. Doesn't that just sound like a stripper name? One time I was called Spanky, but for other reasons. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. She Just sports a number of tattoos. Trying to make her listeners ill. Uh. <laughs> she sports a number of tattoos, including the word sugar, Sean, yeah. on her, on her oh. ear and, her, and the phrase just breathe on her chest. Wow. Oh, she also has her nose pierced. <laughs> she's, well, at least she's not quite like Demi Lovato, who's all all whacked out and in rehab right now. Yeah, well. <laughs> G- give her time. Give her yeah, time. Yeah, give Miley a few years, you know. Yeah, she has an impressive haul of She'll trophies. She'll be shooting heroin and living off the streets. Oh, she will make a, quite a fool of herself. Yeah. She'll make Just some... give that girl a little time. <laughs> She'll make some redneck happy. Have her <laughs> hang out with Frankie for a few days. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, I thought that name was... That's Sugar Sean. Oh, Sugar Sugar Sean. Sean. (laughs) Now you guys got me all screwed up here. Sugar Sean suffering succotash, showing up slots. Trust me, last week I listened to...